Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. We're pleased to be going, joined by Ryan Negotian, of course, the uh, head boys basketball coach at Wild Lake Northern. How's it going? And not too bad. How about yourself? Doing well. So uh, I know the season starts this week. How excited are you guys for it as uh, get ready for another another year of Wild Lake Northern boys basketball? I'm I'm really excited. Uh, you know, it's it's the the greatest time of year as far as I'm concerned. Um, basketball season, <clears throat> um, and so. You know, I got a great group of kids. Um, you know, we got a lot to uh, kind of sort out after last year because, you know, we lost, uh, we graduated seven kids, but, um, you know, I'm having a good time with them and you know, things are going well. I am, uh, I'm ready to, uh, to get started. Yeah. So let's, um, as, as, let's do that. We've done, we've done this with every coach. So let's go talk about some of the returning guys you have and some of the, some of the faces that, well, you're going to, that are going to be out there for you guys. So the only returning starter we have is uh, Jude uh, Mullivar Witten, uh, Witten, I'm sorry. And, um, you know, graduated the other four. Um, and so, you know, um, he's going to be taking a leadership role with that. Uh, we have two other guys that saw some some good time last year, uh, Jacob Smuckle and uh, Ryan Wardrop. Um, you know, but other than that, uh, we're going to be pretty young. Um, you know, we got Drew Smith, uh, you know, in the down low. He's a, he's probably a division one football recruit uh at a tackle yeah. so you know we're gonna have some size again hopefully um and then you know from there it's gonna be kind of um you know we'll see what we can do it, it's gonna be uh there's a lot of time and a lot of uh a lot of minutes are up for uh, up for grab and you know we're, we're battling for them right now in uh, in practice okay so some of the other guys who are some of the some other names to watch out for as well who, who possibly could we see out there um antonio hatcher is a uh is a three for us um, you know, again, a JV kid, uh, had a really good summer. Uh, Dylan Kramer is going to be a, a four or five for us. Uh, grew a lot, um, really well skilled, um, underneath the basket and can also, um, step out and shoot the ball. Um, you know, is, is a threat from the perimeter at six foot four, six foot five. Um, you're looking at, uh, going to have, um, uh, Kane Reed, who was, uh, transferred in a few years ago from, uh, the UP. Uh, is a as a shooter, um, a great shooter, um, and he's really um, elevated his game. Yeah. You know, to do other things, play defense, rebound. Uh, so you know, I think those are some of the guys we may uh, we may be seeing. Uh, Pearson Bahura is another one that um, had a great you know has had a great couple past weeks. So um, you know, and again, I think uh, you know, unfortunately, with the uh, with a short start to it, um, us losing a week, it's been kind of kind of crazy. So. Um, this first week is kind of going to be uh, a lot of trial and error. Yeah. So, yeah, just, uh, you know, as uh, I've talked to every, mostly every coach about that, uh, that I've had on here uh, with the, with the short, with the schedule this year, how did, how has that really kind of affected you? So it has, it's been really difficult, um, especially at the younger levels. Cause you know, those kids, it takes them a while to get used to our system. Yeah. Um, you know, kids at the varsity, they, they've, uh, they've played, uh, you know, in the system for, for a couple of years. And so, you know, they, um, you know, they can pick up where they left off. Uh, they're ready to go uh, at the same time. You know, you, you're looking at it as a coach. Hey, what do I need to have in by that first game? And you just, there, there's just not enough time to get what you need in to be ready for that first game in. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, you know, with, with uh, the short week, we started, you know, the, the week of Thanksgiving. So that's really not a week. That's a short week. Yeah. You, know, um, you know, you're done Wednesday and then, you know, you got days off, you got kids going away. And so uh, it's, it's been a challenge. So unfortunately, you know, I think it's a challenge for everybody, but it's a, uh, it's, it's a challenge. Where do you think you guys, um, let's, uh, let's ask this. I know the season starts this week. So what do you, um, where do you think your team's at right now? Ooh, um, we're figuring things out. You know, you, you don't lose seven seniors uh, and um, just uh, roll right back into it. So I think that we are, um, you know, figuring out, you know, guys are figuring out roles, guys are figuring out where they, um, where they fit in, um, what they're going to do to help the team. And I think that, you know, that's a really good thing. Um, you know, we're, uh, I didn't know how long I was going to take us. And I think we're, we're progressing faster than I, I thought we would. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I think that's where we're, uh, where we're at right now is, you know, kind of figuring those things out. Um, you know, and we're going to figure out more tomorrow with our first game. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's talk about that. Um, who do you uh, who do you have tomorrow? Uh, Chandler. We start out with uh, we open up with Chandler Park Academy. Awesome. Um, so we'll we'll kind of preview a little bit of the schedule later, but I want to ask you about the league so far. Um, 
you know, there's um, there's two new coaches and there's two new coaches in the league, I believe. Um, you know, of course, uh, a very familiar face at Kettering to you yep. um, and, and to and to a lot of people. Um, and of course, Jeff Schmidt's taking over at South Lion. But overall, how excited are you? Where do you think the league's at right now? Because, you know, this is, I believe, year five or six of of the Lakes Valley Conference after the after all the after all the schools split from the KLAA. So where do you think we're at right now? Um, I think the league's in a pretty good place. Uh, I'd like to see us actually get a couple more schools, uh, at least basketball wise, so we could go with two divisions and, and do some things. I know there's been talk of that. Uh, and I would really, I'm, I'm an old Western Lakes guy. And so I, I grew up with uh, playing and, and, and even the beginning of my coaching career, coaching with a couple different divisions. So in, in, in a tournament, which I'd like to see uh, spring back. Um, but I think the league is doing really well. You know, um, there are, like you said, you know, there's some new coaches, but there's a lot of great coaches in the league. Um, you know, they run great programs. Um, you know, they don't go out and they make kids better. They don't just go out and get better kids. Unlike some schools, you know, they get, they kick their kids. They know they're going to have these kids and they work with them in the summer. They work with them during the school year. Um, and they, they make those kids better um, year after year. Uh, you know, it, it poses a challenge as a coach because, you know, I know that, you know, I'm going to be playing against better kids next year, that those kids are going to get better. I know those kids are going to run a system. Um, you know, I know those kids are going to be, you know, for the most part disciplined. Uh, and, and I think that's where the league is at right now. Um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a very solid league as far as basketball goes, I believe. Yeah. And, you know, just going, and then of course, just talk about the, you know, your schedule in the beginning portion of the season. Of course, you mentioned uh, Chandler Park Academy tomorrow, but overall, uh, we're, who, what do you have on your December slate um, to uh, finish out 2022? So December, we start with Chandler Park. Um, and then unfortunately, we, we start right away into the league uh, yeah. with a rivalry game there with Wald Lake Western yep. um, on Friday. Uh, Tuesday, we play... Um, um Howell and um we've also got on the schedule um later on in the uh or the holiday break we're going to have Henry Detroit Henry Ford uh, as well as Ida um we're playing over at the uh, the Raider Classic there at North Farmington with the um with the shot clock the MHSA is bringing down um uh, people to run it and they you know they're going to get dad off it we did it last year um to kind of see how it how it goes what the coach is what the players and everybody thinks about it what do you, so overall, I know you guys, you guys did it last year and obviously that's a topic of conversation among a lot of people in this. Do, do you see the shot clock coming to high school basketball? Unfortunately, yes. Um, I kind of have a unique perspective on it. When I was in college, I ran the shot clock um, for Oakland Community College for a year. And so uh, it is an extremely difficult thing to do. Because, you know, there are, you're sitting there at the table and, you know, it, it looks easy on TV because they've got, you know, high def cameras from above, three different angles. You know, you're there on the, you know, at the table and, you know, you're like, oh my God, did it hit or did it not hit? It looked like it moved. It might've hit, you know, and, and that has a huge impact on the game. Um, the other thing is, you know, quite honestly, everybody says that, hey, it's, it's to get kids ready for the next level. Well, the kids that are ready to play at the next level they haven't had any problem whatsoever making that, that transition. I, I think that it's, um, you know, it could really do a lot of harm to the younger levels it, to be perfectly honest. Cause you know, that that's where you're really trying to teach kids the game of basketball and to be patient and, and to understand what's going on. So I'm not a fan. I, unfortunately though, I think that um, the ball is rolling and I think that it's going to, it's going to happen here within the next few years. Yeah. And, and last thing is, uh, where where do you think you want to where do you think uh, do you, you want to see your team at as at, at, towards the end of the month? And we really hit conference play as January rolls around. Um, I'd like to see us settled in, um, you know, with a with a solid solid lineup and rotation. Yeah. Um, you know, I'd like to see us, uh, you know, kind of kind of aware of where we are. You know, taking starting to take. Um, um, getting that, I guess, that um, identity as a team, you know, that's something that, again, you know, you graduate so many kids, you got to develop that identity. And, and by then I really want us to have, um, you know, a, a good portion of our identity um, and, you know, and ready to enter that, that grind of the, uh, of the season of the, you know, practice, practice game, practice, practice game, um, you know, cause it is a long haul. It's, it's winter, it's cold, it's, 
you're playing a lot of games, you're playing, you know, you're, you're practicing a lot. It just, it, it beats you up. And I think having an identity, um, you know, having something to fall back on, having something to, you know, to hang your hat on really can help you, um, you know, fight through with the the mental aspects of, of that right there in the, you know, in January and February. Exactly. All right. Ryan Negotian, thank you so much for coming on and uh, best of luck to the Knights this year. Thank you very much. Have a great one.